Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from Not Real Engineering. This is the first video in the series ANSYS tutorials. In this video, we are going to see how to run your first example in ANSYS Workbench. Therefore, if you are just getting started with ANSYS, this is the video for you. The main aim of this video is to get you familiar with ANSYS Workbench and how is the ANSYS workflow. And we will do that by solving this simple static analysis problem. It is just bending of 3D beam. On purpose, I kept this problem very simple because this is the first video. Later on, we will increase the complexity. The geometry of problem is shown over here. There is a monkey which is sitting on a wooden bar and we are approximating that into this simple geometry. So length of a bar is 1 meter. The cross section is 0.1 by 0.1 meter and monkey is applying force in this area. It's a uniform force. I'm going to assume material of bar is wood. And as it's a static analysis, we need only two parameters, Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. And the pressure exerted by monkey on the bar is approximated to 30,000 pascals. This is a standard ANSYS workflow. It consists of seven steps. First, we have to select the type of analysis. Then we have to create material. Then we will create the geometry, assign the material to geometry. Then there will be model creation in which we will do meshing set up boundary condition and finally solve the problem and at the end see the results. Let's start with ANSYS Workbench and go through each of these steps in detail. Once you install the ANSYS, you just have to search for Workbench and fire up this app. Once you start ANSYS Workbench, you will come to this project page. The first thing you can do is go into this units and set units to SI. Then these many type of analysis you can do. I'm going to select static structural. So you can just click on it and drag it over here. Once you put it over here, immediately you can rename it. So I'm going to rename it as example one. Now these are the seven steps which we have to go through one by one. First step is already done. We selected the static structural analysis type. So second is material creation. Just double click on this and you will go to this tab engineering data. Now good thing about ANSYS is ANSYS has huge material database. You can see over here there is a material structural steel and it is selected by default and all the properties of structural steel you can see over here such as this is the density, this is the Young's modulus and units are also given over here. Now if you want to change these properties you can change it or if you want to add a new material you can click on this engineering data sources and then you can see many materials over here. For example, in this general materials, there is concrete, there is copper alloy, there is aluminium. So whichever material you want, you just have to click on this plus sign in front of it. And when you click on the plus sign, you will see this material is added to your engineering data. So if you again click on this engineering data source, it will go back to engineering data tab. And now you can see the concrete material is also here. So you can add many materials and you can choose from ANSYS database or if you want to create your own material, which we are going to do in this video, you have to click over here, then name the material. I'm going to name it as wood. Say enter. Now we created this new material. We have to assign the property and we can choose those properties from here. We are going to keep it as a simple isotropic elastic material. So that's why we will choose this isotropic elasticity. Again, just click on it and drag it to the wood. Now this material wood has elastic isotropic property and you can see some cells will be highlighted in yellow color. Those are the cells where you have to provide data. So for isotropic elastic material, two things are necessary. One is Young's modulus, another is Poisson's ratio. So for our case, Young's modulus is 8 into 10 raised to 9 Pascal. So I will enter over here 8E9 and Poisson's ratio for our case is 0 0.3. So let's enter 0 0.3. And there should not be any yellow cell remaining once you are done. Now once you create a material, that's it. Just close this engineering data source and we'll go to next task, geometry. Double click on this. Then a new window will pop up. It takes some time. A few moments later. And this is the new window. This is a design modeler for ANSYS. And this works equivalent to 3D modeling software, such as Creo or Katia. 
You can also import the geometry from Creo and Katia. But in this video, we will create a geometry over here. You can click on this icon so that you will see this sketching plane from the top. Then I will create a rectangle. You can enter escape once you are done. Then you can dimension this rectangle using this dimension tab. So I'm going to dimension this side. In our case, it is 100 mm. So 100. And you can see now the cross section of our beam is ready. So say finish sketch. Automatically, it will take you to this pull tab. Now, first of all, if you want to rotate, you have to hold the scroll button and then you can rotate it. It's a bit different than Abacus, but by holding the scroll button, you can rotate the geometry. And then you can literally pull this cross section in any direction. And here you can enter the length. So for our case, it is 1000. Say enter. When you are entering the dimension, you have to keep holding the left mouse button. For example, when you are pulling from here, now keep holding the left button and then enter the dimensions over here. I will just undo this by control Z. Now our beam is ready. But one more thing what we have to do is we have to create a partition for our monkey to sit on. So to do that, just go into sketch mode, select any face. Then again, you can press this button. So you will see it from the top. And now I will zoom in over here and just create one line from here to here. Enter escape, then dimension it from the top surface. It says 80, but we want it as 100. And again, say end sketching. And you can rotate and you can see the partition is ready. So we'll apply pressure over this area. Now, once you are done with geometry, you don't have to do anything. Just minimize this tab. And next, double click on model. Again, it will start another window. Now the remaining all steps we will do in this window. By default, your geometry will be imported over here. Here also you can rotate by holding the scroll button of your mouse. And it's very easy to follow. Just go sequentially from the top. So first is geometry. If you click on this plus sign, you can see one geometry is over here, which is this one. If you have multiple parts, all the parts will show up over here. But as of now, we have only one. And here we have to assign the material. So if you scroll down over here, you can see material over here. Let me just expand this one. And let me take this also a little bit up. Okay. So when you click on this geometry, you will see material. Now the assignment of material is by default structural steel, but we can change it. If you click on this arrow, you can see all other materials which we added. So we added concrete from ANSYS database and wood is the material which we created. So we want wood. So just click over here on wood. And now the material assignment is wood. So this geometry is done. Next. This is materials. So we already assigned material. You will see all the materials which we added earlier over here. Then next is mesh. So click on this. Now, if your geometry is simple like this, you just have to click on generate and ANSYS will generate a mesh for you. This is the simple mesh. But if you want to change anything in mesh, that also you can do by using these options. So one example I will show you over here is sizing. Using this sizing, you can change the element size. If you click on this, you will see this will get added to mesh over here. And again, in ANSYS, yellow highlighted cells means you can't leave them as empty. So first is geometry. So we have to select geometry. Over here, when you click on this, you can select any surface or entire solid body. If you want to select entire solid body, you have to click on this body first. And now this whole body is selected. But if you want to change element size only on one surface, then you can select face and then only one face will get selected. So now I'm going to select the whole body. Then say apply. Now whole body is selected. And then second is element size. So by default, it is showing some element size. You can change this element size for whatever value you want. 
now as of now it is 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters so this may be let's make it half 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 press enter and then you just have to click update you can see mesh is much finer now there are many more options this is the first video we will not go into all of them but just i am showing you how to change element size at any time if you want to undo the things you can always delete this sizing you just have to right click on this and say delete once you delete this again you have to click update and if you update it again your original mesh which is by default mesh will be created now next is this static structural tab over here you will apply your boundary conditions loads everything and you can apply loads and boundary condition using this structural tab so if you click on this small arrow you can see the left hand side is loads and this right hand side is supports so first we are going to fix one end of our bar so select this fix support now just figure out see this is the area we partitioned for monkey to sit so we have to fix the another end which will be this one say apply and now this face is fixed next we want to apply pressure for monkey on this area and for pressure again go into this structural in loads you can see force movement and pressure so we'll apply pressure select this geometry say apply and here you can define the magnitude for our case this is 30,000 say enter you can always see the unit over here so 30,000 Pascal and that's pretty much it we created the geometry we applied boundary condition this end is fixed there is a pressure on this end we assigned material and also we did meshing so all steps are done the next step is solve you can see the lightning over here before we hit solve we have to tell ANSYS what information are we looking for for that click on this solution tab and in results you can select which results are you interested in so for example you can select deformation maybe let's say total deformation it will get added over here then you can also add let's say stress one mice stress again it will get added over here maybe also let's say strain but this time we will do maximum principal strain so whatever results you are interested in you have to add them over here i will add directional deformation as well and once you are satisfied with all the things you added over here then hit solve it will take some time this is a simple model so it should be very quick and yes done these are the results if you click on this now you are seeing total deformation this is the legend you can see unit as well which is in meters and is this end was fixed the deformation on the right end is zero monkey was sitting here so that's why deformation is maximum over here you can see stress the stress is zero on left end and there is a stress concentration near the fixed end and another thing is you can do animation as well by clicking on this play button so you can see how the beam is deforming you can see the maximum value by clicking this button so maximum stress is over here minimum value sorry the deformation maximum deformation is here minimum deformation is here using this probe you can select any point and you will see the deformation at that point obviously you can do many more things but i feel this video is already long and this is just the first video so in future videos we will explore the ANSYS workbench in greater details but i will stop here for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please go to channel's homepage and you can find many similar videos over here don't forget to show your support by subscribing to this channel and as always, thank you for watching.